Dr. Yoni Witten here, and this week I'm excited to share with you one of my all-time favorite exercises to help you overcome long-standing low back pain. Now, a lot of these chronic back problems have the stage set for them by how we spend our day, and in modern society, that's what's called a flexion-based position. So if you think like sitting in a car or working on a laptop computer, your knees are bent to your, towards your chest, your hips are flexed to 90 degrees, your lower back has the natural curve taken out of it, arms are out in front of you, hands are usually in a grasping position, and the head tends to sink forward as the day goes on. This position is incredibly damaging. It rounds the lower back, it pulls the normal curve out, it allows the discs to bulge towards the rear, which is the most common direction of a disc bulge or a herniation. It stretches out the muscles along the backside of your body and the hips, especially the gluteal muscles that are responsible for supporting the spine in its upright normal position. And over time, those tissues become weaker and weaker and weaker. And then one day you bend down to put on your socks and bam, you can't get up. The exercise that we're going to work on today is going to help to reverse all of those problems in one fell swoop. And the only thing that you need to perform it is a high quality exercise ball. So let's get into this. To get started with the dolphin, just take a kneeling position on the floor and have the ball directly in front of you. Air, roll yourself slowly over the ball until your hands come into contact with the floor in like a push-up position. The starting position for this exercise requires both hands and both feet to be in contact with the floor. You want to position yourself on the ball so that half your weight, approximately, is in front of the pivot point in the center of the ball and half is behind. If you're too far back, you're going to go flying backward off the ball. If you're too far forward, you're going to roll forward and that's unsafe. So, once you got that nice balanced position halfway between the front and the back, to initiate the movement, what you're going to do is have the hands firmly into contact with the floor and you're gonna start squeezing your butt muscles here. Imagine like you have a pencil in between your butt cheeks and you're just trying to squeeze it and hold it there as hard as you can. So squeeze those muscles as you put the body weight into the hands and you'll find that the legs slowly begin to elevate off the floor. The harder you squeeze, the higher the legs go. Then you'll slowly let them down until the toes touch the floor and repeat. Squeeze, when you get to the top of the motion, hold for one to two seconds. You're gonna get a really tight contraction here in the upper portion of the gluteal muscles. Now, the reason that this exercise is so effective for strengthening these muscles is because that's what those muscles do. They pull the leg back and they pull it out. So with this exercise, what you'll find is that the, when you squeeze, the legs start pulling away from the midline out to the side ever so slightly as they pull up towards the ceilings. up towards the ceiling and hold, slowly back down and repeat just like that. The spine stays in a nice neutral position the whole time. Now, one of the reasons that I like this exercise so much is because it's easily adaptable no matter what a person's fitness level is. So if you find that the motion that I just showed you is too difficult, it's really simple to modify it. You're gonna go out to the same starting position and then from there, what you're gonna do is just walk your hands two to three inches forward and then roll yourself just slightly forward on the ball. You see how that ball just rolls just a couple inches forward. <laughs> what this is gonna do is it's going to position the pivot point of the ball further downward, effectively making your legs lighter. So from there, you'll find that it's much easier to bring the legs up you're gonna use that same butt squeeze to elevate the legs off the floor and you're still gonna hold for one to two seconds at the top before letting the feet down to touch the floor. Now, if on the other hand, you find that that version is too easy or as you progress with this, you get stronger and you want more of a challenge, you're just gonna do the opposite. So you'll walk the hands slowly backward. You're gonna be almost rolling off the back of the ball. You're gonna to have to use your arms to make sure the ball doesn't roll away on you. And then from there, you're getting a very intense contraction in the butt muscles with the legs hanging very far off the back of the ball. While performing the dolphin, it's important that you use the stabilizer muscles in your abdominal region and your hands 
to make sure that the ball stays fixed in one point. You don't want it rolling forward and back. The classic thing is that the ball rolls forward. You put yourself at a safety risk there and you definitely don't want it rolling side to side because you can roll off. And that is the dolphin exercise. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you put this information to good use. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to stay updated on the new videos that I put out each week to help you achieve the best posture and mobility of your life. And if you struggle with chronic back pain or chronic neck pain or pain anywhere in your body, you've got to check out the Pain Fix Protocol. This is the new science for permanently resolving these kinds of problems. I'm going to include links in the description down below, and I'll see you guys next week.